Death of, death of Egyptian LGBT activist Sarah Hegazi. Hegazi, I think. Um, oh, yeah, so the Egyptian LGBT activist Sarah Hegazi was, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, sorry, was found dead in her home in Canada where she lived in exile since 2018. Authorities have ruled that she committed suicide, having left behind a letter that reads, To my siblings, I tried to find redemption and failed. Forgive me. To my friends, the experience uh, was harsh and I, I am too weak to resist it. Forgive me. To the world, you were cruel to a great extent, but I forgive. Hegazi wrote... Hegazi rose to prominence due to her arrest alongside 57 other people after rainbow flags were raised at the concert of Meshru Leila. She was charged with promoting sexual deviancy and debauchery. Is that how you say it? And spent three months in prison. After she was freed on bail, she was granted asylum in Canada, where she had been living in exile for the past few years. Um, this is very sad. I don't. Do you guys know? I mean, what? Ha I don't know. I mean, I was hoping in Canada she would be able to find a lot of emotional support and the community to make her feel better so i don't know what happened there do you guys know anything more about this case Rifka? i mean uh, oh, it could oh. be like a trauma from when she was like a, a jail for being a lesbian and stuff like that like it's uh like there's this saying like uh the person didn't die because of the pressure here they died because of the pressure here like the harassment from everyone, like the Muslim community in general, and the trauma she already went through in e back in Egypt, that all like was so stressed, that uh, stressed out her so much, like she just couldn't see, like she couldn't escape from, I mean, even, even though phys uh, she physically escaped from the situation she was in, she couldn't mentally escape that. Well, we don't know. That's anything. what you like, think, by the way. That, yeah, yeah, that's what I think. I'm not like saying sure. this is what exactly happened. I mean, right. I'm just saying like this is often the case in many suicide cases. So that's BG, what I think. BG, BG thinks she was tortured in jail. By the way, let's just put a disclaimer out there. We're not mental health experts, so we don't... Apparently don't... she... Oh, I'm sorry. Go on. Apparently go on. she was tortured in jail. Um, and she was, she had very severe PTSD from the three months in jail or four months in jail. And apparently she had a previous suicide attempt back after she got out of jail. Uh, so, um, I think that the whole experience now, of course, Chopin is contextualizing, you know, he's... But I think he may be right because she had a very bad experience in jail. The whole country considered her a criminal. She was doing something she thought was in solidarity. And if you see the video when everybody was raising the rainbow flag, I mean, they were so joyous and happy. They felt free and 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 happy and they were expressing themselves and the Mashru Leila guy is gay and but and it turned into this absolute nightmare for a lot of people and um the whole society retaliated against her and I just think that even though she did get an asylum in Canada I don't know if there was a particular triggering incident or what but I know that she had a really hard time in jail and then she had a previous attempted suicide and had PTSD from the whole so, experience. So Helena, who's an Arab herself, she's commenting on the main post on Facebook about this, and she's saying, uh, I saw the comments on Arab sites, uh, and they are full of hatred. We live with monsters having powerful authority. I mean, even in response to her death, a lot of people were... 
uh, commenting on how on the fact that she was disgusting, that she deserved this, that of course people who are like LGBT um, are you know emotionally and mentally broken. Um, you know, people celebrating her death. So this is pretty. I mean, if if people respond like this to her death, I can't imagine what she was experiencing. Uh, when you know, it's yeah. Axel is saying another fallen in the war against fascism. May her memory be cherished and her story never forget forgotten. Wow, Axel, that's very nice. Some people in the live chat are telling me that Susanna read the news better. No fucking shit. That's why she reads the news when she's here. Um, I mean, I I wanted to clarify that. I'm, pra- uh, I, I'm practicing. Um, Go on. <laughs> uh, I wanted to clarify that, like, I have been through a case, like, where, like, I was taken to a psychologist who was, like, invalidating me throughout the entire session and everything. I have, like, faced people who have, like, inserted me for my sexuality and identity and everything. And they what they said still keep coming back to me even now when I have like isolated myself kind of in my room and don't really interact with people uh, most of the time but they still keep coming back to me and it's like really bad for my mental health so she was tortured in jail so I can only begin to imagine how bad it was for her Okay, so Michael Sherl- No, okay, I'm not going to read that. That's Michael Sherl, like you can't read comments like that. You have to change it a little bit. Soha is saying she suffered from uh, PTSD. She was tortured in jail and probably maybe even raped. We, we don't know. The, after um, getting out, they treated her like garbage, and that, and they say, I think she means that they said that she deserved it. Uh, Michael Sherlock finally said something that is uh, accurate. He's saying you're doing a good job, Armin. Thank you. Finally, you're finally something useful from Michael Sherlock. Um, all right, this is the next news is 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 the reason. It's the only reason why we have Chopin here. Okay, everything else is just hold on. All right, next news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 